Let us see, we have uh, Jihad, he tried to call me. I will try to call him. You know, I don't know why Muslim they call me when I'm talking to somebody. Do you think I'm going to hang up on the person I'm talking to and take your call? You just wait. <clears throat> Jihad supposedly, as I know, he is a Palestinian Muslim. And he himself, he don't like Islam, as I heard him many times saying that. Hello, Jihad. Hello? Oh, he hang up. I don't know why. He just hanged up. You see, we have, you know, we have, you know, the Muslim, they say to you, where Jesus says, I am God, worship me. So when we show them Jesus says, yes, I'm God, worship me, what they would do? They say, it doesn't say that, CP. <laughs> And, you know, anyone can say, I'm God, worship me. I can say that too. But Jesus, in many places in the Bible, says it clearly that he is the living God. The one who saw me, he saw the Father. And he said it clearly, I am the living God. Uh, if you worship pine tree and egg, your prayer also transmitted to the Father and Jesus. Uh, this is again, you know, this is the this is the savagery, and uh, those are example of how Muslims they lie about Christianity. Hmm. So look, this guy he says, we Christian we 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 pray to a pine tree. In fact, it's your God Allah. He pray to a fig tree. Prove me wrong. Is it your God? He swear by the fig tree. If he is not a worshipper of a fig, he will not swear by the fig. People swear by God. People, they swear by their God. So do we swear by pine tree? So the stupid Muslim, he said, because people, they have a Christmas tree. Oh, we worship tree. But people are laughing at you. And then we throw it in the garbage, right? Like a week after, we throw it in the garbage. You see, we, were, we throw in the garbage what we worship. <laughs> but it's your God who swear by the fig, and all of us we knew, that the one who swear by something, he swear by his God. Unless you are saying to me that your God is being an idiot, he swear by, swear by fig and olive. Hmm? And he is not worshipping them. So why he is swearing by them? I will be happy to hear your answer. You have two gods now based on your logic i'm not i'm not the one saying that i'm using your logic but if you if you think about it for a second your god he is swearing by something greater than him because people they don't swear by normal things they swear by something greater to prove themselves like i'm not going to swear by this bottle of water what is this i'm not going to swear by a tissue I'm not going to swear by a tomato. People will laugh at me. So imagine you go to the court and now the judge says to you, take an oath that you are telling the truth. So you put your hand over a tomato and swears, I, tom I swear by tomato that I uh, tell the truth. The judge will ask you, why are you swearing by tomato? He said, I like tomato. That would be stupid and funny. So when your God Allah, he swear by tomato, he's doing what? I'm waiting for you. Try to give me the answer. I'm waiting for the Mohammedan to give the answer. We have almost 1,500 people watching, and not a single Muslim, he can give us an answer. Your friend from England, not this one, the other one, he, you know, we gave him a very simple question, which one Allah created first, the stars or the trees, the mountains, etc. He came after almost 40 minutes, he said, I don't know the answer. He was searching all this time. All this time was searching for a very simple question. So how the Quran is the book of guidance. And then, and he's, and the Quran spoke about how Allah created the earth and the heaven. Yet you Muslim, you have no answer. If you are really that good in debate, why Dr. Zayek Nayak never accept your invitation? Are you insulting Zayek Nayak or insulting me now? 
Well, what about you? You send an email to Zakar Naik and tell him why you are not debating Christian press. What level? What does that mean? Do you need to be in my level to debate you? Here we go. I take calls from everybody. <laughs> what level? People who they are so proud, they are the foolish ones. People who they are humble, they are the wise one. Do we agree, people? Do I say this guy is not? Oh, don't! I'm not going to you know anyone. He can call me. Here we go. My Skype is open. I don't know who's going to call me next. So when you say that, actually, you are showing me that you don't Muslims. You are not a good religious people, and you are not humble, and you are God. When you think you are better than others, that means you think you are God. A biased believer, a, a person who follow God. You know, he say, oh, I'm nobody, I'm humble, and you know, I'm servant, I'm serving people, you know, but I will not talk to you because I'm higher than you. Like, you know, I know that uh, uh, Zuzu, he, he, they asked him about uh, David Wood, and I think even Sam Shamu, but he did not, nobody asked him about me. I wonder why you don't ask him about me. Go, send him an email. However, he says, he is not in my caliber. What caliber? Is those uh, who you bring them in the in, in your stage they have your caliber do you see the excuse the one in the stage is, is a show a show up time show off, show off time so Zach and Nike is willing to argue with the female she is 21 years old but he is not willing to argue with someone like David Wood because oh David Wood is not my caliber what is your caliber you tell me I have Magnum 500 what is yours? <laughs> what is your caliber? What does that mean? That is silly and that is a stupid. So they make excuse and actually I am glad that he refused to debate uh, David Wood. David Wood is not a good in debate. David Wood is very horrible in debating Muslims. He don't know how to debate. He make them get away with lies and that make you a bad debater. He's very good at making short videos. In debate, no. So I'm glad that never happened. But do your scholars dare to debate me? Here we go. They keep saying only face to face. Actually, I challenged David, uh, so, sorry, his, uh, Zach, Zach Kurana Yoka. And I'm. Uh, this is in Skype. Uh, sorry, in uh, in uh, Facebook. And then they send me a message back from his account. I used to have an account before in Facebook, if you remember, saying I have to bring I don't know how many thousand people to attend the debate so he can debate me. They are liars. They are trying just to escape the embarrassment. So if you could not even debate David Wood, who is not a good debater. How you can debate me? <clears throat> uh, Tariq is saying, uh, Christian Prince is not cannot debate either. He is never debated in his life. Exactly. Never. <laughs> so why you are here? <laughs> Look at those Muhammadan. They are in the state of disability. Nobody dare to call me. And Christian Prince is not a good debater. He don't, don't know how to debate. He not debate anyone in his life, brother. <laughs> and you know, the funny is, I stay here for a couple of hours every day, waiting for the Abduls to call me and they cry. Says, you do not know how to debate and you are not a knowledge. You don't have a knowledge. Okay, call me, get me busted. And as you see, Muslims are leaving Islam left and right. Hmm? Don't you see what's happening? Are you going blind? Avalanche. It's an avalanche, my friend. He's called control. Well, I'm saying I will call you in your life. Guys, if they are alive and I call them, what's the problem? Your life. How I can control your life? You go right now, open your YouTube, go live, and I will call you.
<laughs> we all we offer all those potatoes who claim to be a sheikhs. You know what his name? Uh, uh, not, I mean, all of them. I don't want to mention names. All of them. I tell the Christian prince, I'm willing even to fly to America. Okay, if he is a man to debate me, hold on. You debate with everybody in Skype. How come not me? What happened? Suddenly you don't want to use the internet. He knew I go nowhere. Why I want to go anywhere? I sit in my house drinking my coffee and beating the hell of Muhammad and making Muslim leave Islam and welcome to Jesus. Why I want to go anywhere? Money, airplane, ticket, suffer, traveling, tired. You know, there is many. There is many risk involved too. But here, uh, who wanna call me? Who let, who will let me to call him? Like now, we just offer this guy. He's an Arab. He's a Muslim sheikh. He's an Arab. You see, his name is in the title. I left him a message in his YouTube saying, "Give me your Skype. I will call you in your life." The potato he scheduled to go live at one o'clock. Guess what? Until now he did not show up. Just because I left a message says I want to call you today. I will call him in his life. Can I control his life? And he claimed to be a doctor in Islam. It was scheduled for 1 p.m. And now it is 3.27 p.m. He did not even show up. I left him a message since yesterday. 16, when I start today, it was 16 hours ago. What happened to the hero? People are running away from him. And no Christian. Here we go. I will call you. I will call you to your program. What happened? Did not even show up. Right? All right. Well, all of them they are heroes, my friend. All you cannot you cannot win with Muslims. Muslims are the most smart, intelligent people. You know, I mean, God, come on, the sunset in murky water. And he found where the sun rise, and he found next to it people, and they built the Gog or Magog Dam. And then, what his name is, uh, uh, not Zakur and Yuka, uh, uh, Yasser Kadhi, he told the Muslims, <laughs> if you believe there is really a dam, <laughs> and again, I cannot believe in that. Just give me a minute, I have to bring some, uh, I have to heat my, actually, uh, my, uh, my, uh, my coffee. Just give me a minute, guys, to heat it up, and I will be back. My coffee getting really cold. I don't like to drink it cold.
All right, we are back. Sorry, guys, I made you wait a little bit. So, do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Let us see Skype. Uh, uh, some uh, Sam Shamoun can he says, Can you give me the uh, Sam? I cannot give you really unless he said he will, you know. Uh, uh, the gentleman who just called me, if you like me to give your account to Sam Shamoun, let me know, please. And I will, because he's asking, he, he want to talk to you. <coughs> Uh, okay. Okay, somebody sent me a message, says he have a sheikh from Africa. Uh, okay, I am from Kenya, Africa, and I have a sheikh in Kenya, big deal. He even has two wives, rich guy. He want to debate you. Uh, he, uh, he's, uh, he's very confident. Uh, Sunday is the best day for him to destroy you. Uh, do do we organize? Okay, just tell me what uh, Sunday, I mean, uh, when I will be here. Uh, Sunday is a long day. No problem. <clears throat> Maybe we have a fish. Let us see. And he is confident. I like that. <coughs> he is a, he is very confident and he is rich and he have two wives. I think, you know what, if he get married from two more, he will be stronger. Hmm. I mean, do you think a man who have two wives can win? I think he should get four. No? I don't think two women, they will have. I think four. Four would do better. It's just a logic. <clears throat> you know? Yeah. Okay. Do we have any Mohammedan? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Did you do thesis defense before you graduated from so-called Islamic University? A Muslim is asking me a question about thesis defense. Mm. Uh. Look, look, look how Muslim making my life tough, my friend. Muhammad sin is sinful. Are you sure you don't mean sinful? Okay. Did you do thesis defense before you graduated from your so-called Islamic University? If you did, did you do face-to-face -face or hide behind your computer? I don't know, to be honest with you, I did my thesis the same as Prophet Muhammad did his thesis when he became the most biggest scholar in the world, in everything, in the New Testament, in the Old Testament, in any testament. Yet he have no witnesses, he have no school, he can't even read and write. This is what happened to me, brother. Do you believe me or not? Or what I happened to me? An angel came, squeezed me three times, and there's, when he noticed there's no ketchup is coming out, he left. And since then, I became so knowledgeable. I don't know what the squeezing did to me, but it was a very tough squeezing. I mean, obviously, your prophet was activated by squeezing. You know? Like, you know, there is a, if you go hunting, I don't know how many of you go hunting, there is like a, a kind of tube, you know? If you squeeze it or bend it a little bit, uh, it's going to shine. Like two liquid will mix together and they will make him like a phosphor. So uh, the prophet, he was activated since he'd been squeezed. And since then, he becomes so knowledgeable. And as your brother, he said, when they asked the prophet, what is the spirit? He did not answer. And how? Why? He said, because of that, he proved that he's a prophet because he did not answer. Hmm. Do we have any Muhammadan? Uh, 
Any Muhammadan from the thesis, a Muslim talking about thesis. This is something you took from us, Abdul. You are not a Christian, are you? You take from the Kuffar. I don't do a thesis, you stupid. Because when you do bachelor degree, you don't do thesis. You are a stupid idiot like your prophet. <laughs> Thesis is those who they are doing PhD and they become a doctor. Idiot. In the bachelor degree, you don't do thesis. What thesis? There is subject. You make an exam. You pass. You are done. Potato. Dumb. Unbelievable. This is why the Chinese he said he left as a donkey, never come back as a horse. I know they were talking about who, even though they didn't mention the name. Somebody told you my name is Dr. CP. You see, the guy we are challenging now, he is not, he's hiding. He called himself doctor. I'm not doctor. I don't even talk about my degrees. Doctor. Potato. And you know, having a PhD doesn't make you knowledgeable as you see all of them those who have a degree you know Islamic University especially if you are a Muslim anyone who make like make a study there's a guy he made a PhD about the the sound of the belly according to Islam which means the farting imagine degree a study a book about farting that is Islam So when you speak about BHD, I mean, what what that mean? It's an Islamic university. He is he is life. Tomorrow, he is life. What do you mean tomorrow? Oh, you mean the other guy, the video? Okay, hold on. Isn't it today? What is today? What is the date? Maybe I got the date wrong. <clears throat> oh, tomorrow, tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow we will try to go live. Okay, maybe maybe he did not. Uh, maybe this is tomorrow, no problem. But be my witness. I left for him a message already. I left it in his uh, comment. I left it in this video here. I left it in this video here. And they have no excuse to say they did not see it. Actually, let me see if you have any response to that. Give me a second. <clears throat> I doubted that he will have any response. Oh, he took it off. He, guys, he took it off. Look, look, look. When I started today, I put my comment and I show it to you on the screen, correct? The last comment I put sort by, let's see, sort by, the newest. The last comment is seven days ago. It's gone. He took it off, so he saw it. If you go in the beginning of my video, I showed you my comment. I have two comments. Too bad I did not take a screenshot for them. Hold on. I think I did, but I delete them from the screen. Give me a second. Uh-oh. I think I still have it. Oh, Abdul. <laughs> what? He deleted my comment, the hero.
Give me a second. Yeah, I don't see any comment actually. Yeah, but I have it actually. I have it here. I have a screenshot of it. 16 hours ago, this is when I took the screenshot. And this is my comment. I said, stop speaking about being brave and people running away from you and choosing topic and putting conditions, you know. And I said, I'm sure even if he agree, he will put a thousand condition so he will not make it happen. But it's gone. I don't see my comment. And, uh, you know, I open only two videos of his. Let us see. Hold on. Uh, because I, I think I posted another uh, comment in the other video. So, but I think, he you know, he deleted them all, you know. He deleted everything. <laughs> But just to be sure, let us see. What about this video here? There's no comment here too. Let us see the other video. Yeah, I did not watch. I mean, I saw only two videos. Maybe this one, let us see. Maybe in this one, hold on. I did not see this one. Maybe my comment is in here. Oh, here we go. They are still there, actually. They are still there. I, I, I paused the comment in this video. All right. This video is made nine days ago. And this is my comment. It is 20 hours ago. All right. So we will see. But I, the other comment is deleted because I made a other comment too in the other videos. But those ones are still there. Look like he did not notice that I posted here too. So we will see. So let us uh, let us do this then. As long tomorrow, he will be uh, live at one o'clock. I will go live at one o'clock. I will go before that actually. Good, guys. What do you think? <clears throat> we will do it tomorrow and then we will call him tomorrow if he refused to give me his Skype he's a potato and let me schedule from now Uh, let us do this. Hold on. I will schedule it from now. So if he is really a person who mean what he say, then we will go for it. We will see if he is a person of knowledge or he's just a potato. What we will name the video. I'm trying to find the name for it. Give me a second. Okay, I will use a name he used in his videos. And I will use English name now. Okay, and now we put the thumb near. <clears throat> and we will make it, we will go live maybe in a half hour before he show up. And I will go to his channel, you know. 
and we will challenge him live. You do not need to go when I go there. You can watch because I will put the chat. I will put in his channel. And if he is the man who really, he mean what he say, let us see. Guy, you know, they keep, uh, uh, you know, making funny videos, insulting an old man. You know, he's like 78 years old or maybe 80. Let us see how brave they are. So we will make it tomorrow. Let us see here. Okay. And, uh, tomorrow, 21st. And we will go live at, as long as he will go live at 1, I will go live at 12.30. And we will call him when he can go live. Here we go. Now we have another life schedule for tomorrow. The beach. I am ignorant. I'm not sure what does that mean. Can you can you enlighten me and tell me what that mean? <clears throat> when a Muslim he say I am ignorant. Why you don't call me and show me my ignorance? What do you think? Who is a Muslim when I call me and show me my ignorance? And by the way, I mean, all of us, we are ignorant about a lot of things, right? I mean, anyone who speak, who think that he is the knowledgeable, wise, blah, 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 is a fool. So ignorance is a fact of a life of a human being. Our life is a chain of ignorance. But there's a huge difference between someone is ignorant and, uh, you know, he don't claim to be a, a prophet of God and he have the knowledge of Allah. You Muslims, even you are kuffar, you say Allah and his messengers knows best. So you associate the knowledge of a false man like Muhammad with the knowledge of God. I don't claim to be a prophet of God and I don't claim to have the knowledge of God. Who am I? Nobody. But you have a man, each time he says something, you Muslim, you say to him, Allah and his messenger knows best. And that is shirk because you associate the knowledge of God with the knowledge of a little man. Well, as an example, <clears throat> don't call me if you are a Christian, please. I will block you if you are a Christian you have a question the chat in YouTube is open you are not different I don't treat people differently don't text me in Skype unless you have a scholar want to debate me a shake want to debate me otherwise I will block you and if I say Christians can call then you can text me did I say Christians can call we have a chat is running in YouTube I'm losing my voice <clears throat> so when Muhammad he said as an example, not limited. He said to his companion, Abu Huraira, who accompanied Muhammad just to eat, by the way, as the book says, do you know where the sun set? He said, uh, no, Allah and his apostle knows best. Muhammad, he said, the sun set in a spring of muddy, boiling water. Are you with me? Allah and his prophet knows best, right? I mean, you won. That's it. Muhammad is not ignorant. I am ignorant. Okay. That's it. I mean, how Muhammad knew this? If he is ignorant, no way. He is not ignorant. Are you there? And what the Muhammad and they do? They made their God equal to a man with knowledge. You know, and, and the more unique thing about God is no knowledge. So when you say Allah and his messenger knows best. 
That means there's two in the world. They are the best in knowledge. And the word best is used for both. Remember, the word best it doesn't say Muhammad know less, Allah knows best. No, no, no. It says Allah and his messengers knows best. And this is the knowledge of the knowledgeable prophet of Allah. Who knows best? And now what the Muslim they were saying, they will say this is Da'if Hadith. It's not. Here we go. It's in the front of you. And Muhammad is saying to me, look at your Bible. I don't know what I look at. I look at the Bible, I look at the prophet, I look at the Bible, I look at the prophet, I look at the Bible, I look at the prophet, and I found that the prophet is so white. Do you want me to show you the video? Azab is so scary. Oh, okay. So this guy now is trying to scare me uh, with something called the Azab, <clears throat> which means the torture, the penalty, the torment. My friend, I don't know what azab you are talking about. I think the heaven of Allah is more azab. You have an endless penis and you do not know where your penis now. What if your penis end in the Amazon River and those little fish are eating your penis, chewing it? This is heaven. So your wife is next to you and now you want to have sex with her, but your penis is in only Allah knows where it is. I mean, have you ever heard, I mean, the women in front of me, and now my penis is endless. And the wife, she say, honey, what we will do now? What is the tip of your... <clears throat> I say, oh, I, you know what? Let me see if I can make a U-turn. <laughs> Azab, is it, is it fun to have all those women in one bedroom? I mean, is that is that really a joy? Oh, boy. Azab, uh, I, I forgot, oh, you know, Muhammad, he spoke about the, uh, the torture, man. Man. Two angels will come to you. And they will ask you questions. Three questions. Let us find the hadith. Brothers and sisters, listen carefully. Prophet of Allah, he always tell the truth. He always, always, always tell the truth. Okay? Hmm. And what is the truth, brother? There's two angels. will come to you and they will ask you questions who is this man if you don't say Muhammad they will hit you with the hammer who is your God if you don't say Allah they will hit you with the hammer let us read together read together the wisdom of the Prophet of Allah a wisdom nobody ever had before. Knowledge nobody ever had before. Amazing, so beautiful, and so scary. Read with me carefully. Abu Huraira said that the Prophet said when a dead is buried two black and blue angels one called Al-Munkar and one called Nakir come to him and ask him his opinion he hold or held for this man. If he is a believer, he will reply, He is the servant and messenger. 
if you are looking for a commercial break, if you are looking for a servant, please contact our phone number 1-800-SERVANT for you. The servant do not need battery charge because it is solar and it work in every atmosphere. Cold, even it's minus 40 degree, still our servant, which is made in China, work for you. Take a beer. Back to the story. If he is a believer, he would reply, He is the servant and the messengers of Allah. I testify that there is no God, but God. Commercial break. If you like to testify that there is no God but God, please feel free. For God, there is no God but God, because He is the only God, so it's more obvious there is no God but God. Hello? 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 Hello, my friend. Uh, you're, you're from Kenya, right? Yes, yes. yes, yes. Okay, wh where is the Sheikh with the two wives when he's coming? I don't hear you. I, I, I don't know how we will make the debate. I, I hope that your Sheikh doesn't have the same internet. Hello? Can you hear me now? I hear you now. Okay, so do, do you, did you speak to the Sheikh with the two wives? Let me move this absolute, uh, uh, Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Let me put this off. Let me. Yes. This guy is a big shot. He's a big shot. Yes. And... Mm. <laughs> So, 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 did you speak to him about what the time he can he can join us in certain a Sunday? Let me let me let me let me remove the tabs all the, all of them. Hmm. Uh, let me, give me give me a minute, please. Is it down? Is it down? That's me. Uh, um, yes. Is it clear now? It's clear, my friend. Okay. Did you did you speak to the Sheikh about when when he will debate me? Yes. So okay. he told me um um there's so much things going on in um uh, Kenya. Um there's um how can I describe it? Um um TV commercials. I think it's 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 very easy to this or make fun of Jesus or make fun of Christianity, and um, there's a show which which is going on in Kenya right now. And I told you Kenya is where Kenya is. I know Africa. where's Kenya. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So it's 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 a it's a it's a it's a it's a good story about you know people from the ghetto. My, my friend, my friend. Sorry, I can't stay yeah, with so, you for so, long. So. I, I want you to do this. Oh. Get me the sheikh. Tell me when a time in Sunday he would be live, you know, uh -huh. and tell uh -huh. me what time according to New York time, and uh -huh. I will be waiting for him. And uh -huh. that's it. There's no need to, you know. I know what the Muslims do. I know what they say. There's uh -huh. no need to explain. So when you have the sheikh telling you the time, you said to me, "Is, is Sunday is okay?" Which means he told you he want to debate uh -huh. me on Sunday, correct? Uh, yes, okay, yes, yes. so uh, here we go. I will be happy to hear. You're good to go. You're good to go. Okay, so just let me know when the time is going yeah. to be. You know, try mm -hmm. to find out right now so yeah. we can tell everybody. And I will be waiting for him. You do not need to tell me anything, just call me. You know, I will wait for him. you. All right, wait for you. Okay, my friend. Thank you okay, very much. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, yeah. Uh, we have a Muslim in the chat. He said, Zakaria Botrosul Farrar. I don't know, my friend, about the Farrar, but I know that Zachariah Botros, he have his phone in the screen, and if you Muslims are willing to debate him, you do not need to make a drama, you just call him. I mean, don't the guy, he have his phone number in the screen, why you don't call him? Who is the Farrar? al farraru man yadda'i wa alayhi an yuthbit madda'a. Tattasil. ولنرى من هو البطل يقوم من البصل. As long you are brave and people run away from you, 
اتصلوا انتظروا وإنا لمنتظرين قرآن لعين المسلم يربح الحرب دائما والدليل إسرائيل Muslims always win the war if you don't believe me look at Israel always anyway let us go back to the to the story which Prophet Muhammad and this is what the Muslim here was warning me about uh, the the penalty the penalty brother I'm really worried about the penalty so I am dead now and there's two angels one of them is black and one is blue oh mommy oh mommy mommy blue oh mommy blue oh mommy blue angel and black angel avatar I mean how how big the imagination of a prophet Muhammad blue black okay just just let it go let it go let us continue the story I mean this the cheese is not even there hold on they will say to him And he will say to them, I testify there is no God but God, and that Muhammad is he, the servant and the apostle. They say that they knew he would say so. Oh, okay. Stop. So they knew he would say so. So what the question for? I mean, what kind of a quiz this quiz is? Hello? Hello? Yes, Jihad, how are you? Yeah, do you hear me? I hear you, go ahead. Yeah, you know, uh, CP, uh, regarding Jesus, I, I know he, I know, you know, nobody can find any bad things about him, but, you know, did did, uh, did the new did the New Testament Gospels are they clear books? You tell me. You Muslims can explain anything. I don't know. Are they clear? No, but what I'm saying is, no, nobody's. Jesus has a pure name. No, no, nobody's saying this, but the way Jesus spoke and the way Jesus gave instructions hmm. to his to his uh, apostles is okay. it always clear? Is it always? 100% يعني واضح anybody can understand it 100% uh, you know you can say clear to the bin to who if you if you speak to someone as an idiot it's not clear for him if you speak to someone as a believer and he is he have knowledge it's a clear so you know i mean uh, because the bin, as the bin i know the person i as i know jesus sometimes he spoke clear and sometimes he he spoke no, my friend, Jesus, Jesus in, most in of the parable. time, exactly, he spoke in parable. That is the clear part, actually, more than other ones, because the parables is to make it easier for those who they are not educated. Okay, my friend, sometimes know. a person cannot understand what's being said in the Gospels. You cannot my, and, understand and, and, it. and this is why there is some people, they volunteer to explain to you in case you have the, such a scenario, because not all people are the same intelligence. It's a fact. Not all people are smart or super smart. There is someone is a genius. There is someone is so-so. There is someone is not smart like me and you. My friend, mm. many people have tried to study what, what Jesus said. Okay, and? And so sometimes they didn't even... Okay, who, who, is the, they, who is the first one who studied what Jesus said? Oh, is okay, it? nobody's saying, okay, even brother, mm. even the historian said he's a healer. He's a healer. So even those academics, they said he's a healer. So he healed people. Mm. We know that. That's a, that's a powerful... Not only that, I want to add to this. You know the Talmud, the book of the Jews, which they speak against Jesus? 
You're the one who supports the Jews. You're the one who. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're the one who supports the Jews. Don't, 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 don't. You support Israel, and I know that. Take it easy. This guy is a Palestinian. That's why you get aggressive now. Yeah, so when you listen, 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 listen. Hold on, hold on. What happened? And when they take a male baby and they squash his head. Okay, go ahead. Okay, what happened to you, man? It's okay. Yeah. So take it easy. No, I'm just telling you, but, but right. like those Jews, I'm not they supporting. Baby. I'm you not supporting. My friend, I'm not supporting anyone. I'm supporting the one who owned the land. The land is the land of the Jews. This is not yours. As simple as that. Very simple. So. Well, Yahud doesn't matter. No, there's no Sahyuni, there's no Yahud. The, the Sahyun is the name, other name of the Jews. You do not know. You understand? You know, you, you go right now, search for the word Zion in the Bible, you will see it. Very simple. So you are ignorant. You do not know what your Zion mean. So Muslims, you know, they think they, they can be. Okay, so did the Israeli let, army let us, ever let kill us babies? Change, let us not yes or no? The Israeli army is what? Did they ever murder children? Yes or no? That's a are you are you against murdering children? Did the Israeli army ever? I'm murder asking children? you. Maybe I don't know. I'm not in the army. If they do, are you against murdering children? Yes, I am. Okay, so why your Quran allow it? The Quran allows it. Okay, so when Allah He order the Jews, how the Jews they get into Israel? Do you know? How they how they went there actually? Can you tell me? Allah get. Allah gave them the land first, wasn't okay. it? Okay, so but Allah gave them they, the land. So what? So why you are? Why you are trying to take the land from the Jews? This is their land. You just you are a Palestinian, and now you admit that this is the land of the. You said Allah gave them the land first. How, I know, brother. How but, he know, gave there, him? There's, uh, uh, there, there's a lot of Palestinian Christians. Jihad, jihad, so jihad. The Jews shot. Bullets my, my friend, and they don't my friend. Support okay, them. okay. I can show you how your prophet slaughter everybody, enslave their children, and even the one. Okay, if somebody is nine years old, can we kill him? No, no, no. I'm asking you. If somebody is nine years old, can we kill him? No, nine nine years old. Is, okay, is I can show you right now what your prophet did to the Jews. They order every child to take off his pants, and the one who have little hair, just little hair around his pubic area, they start. Is this from the stupid Abu Bakr book? I, I don't care, stupid Abu Bakr. What Abu Bakr? This is your prophet saying that your prophet stories, you know, and this is your books. I mean, what I would do now, so I, if I show you reference from your book, you don't like them, and now you call Abu Bakr stupid. Thank you very much. Well, here we go. Abu no, Bakr is stupid. No, because I already told you that I don't, I don't agree with Sahih Bukhari. I, I don't. I don't. My, my jihad. Who cares what you agree about? And you know, this is history. This is history written by Muslims. So now, if I would uh, prove to you okay, something, okay, but it's, so, it's like you said, Ibn Kathir is a guy who came four hundred years later. Yeah, so but who is he? But this is a guy. So whenever but, I came but the, to this, but the one, I said, okay, okay, but the so one is if talking. Ibn Kathir is a guy who can come five hundred years later. Okay, but the jihad but, is a guy who can come with his own tafsir. What's the difference? My friend, the one is talking now is someone, his people slaughtered by Muhammad himself in the time of Muhammad. He said that the reason he was not killed, he was a child, but because. He don't have little hair around his pubic area, so anyone have little hair around, they kill him. But all of us, all of us, we know you are a Middle East. I'm a Middle Eastern. We have hair since a very early age. So, but we are children still. So, if this is the reason to kill a person, well, here we go. He is a child, and because he was too too young to have little hair, he did not. He was not killed. So, the order of Muhammad is to kill anyone have little hair around his pubic area. Okay, so. So what is what is adult according to Muslims in, in based on this case? If he have little hair around his pubic area, and why they order them to take off their clothes? Because obviously they don't appear like men; they appear like kids. If they are already appear like men, we do not need to ask them to take off their pants. Correct. The point is, if you are a man, we will kill you. If you are not, we will not kill you. So what we do? Take off your pants. And the one who have little hair around his pubic area kill him. That's mean they are children. So either you support it or you're against it. Now let's go back. You said that the uh, the Quran, Allah He gave the Jews the land. Why Allah gave the Jews the land? In the beginning He did. Where in, they kept where in the stubborn. Quran? Where in the Quran it says that's in they, the beginning? They, they, okay, for okay, they, they kept being stubborn. They never obeyed the commandments of God. Okay. Okay. What is the command of God? 
The commandment. What is the commandment of God? What Allah gave them, this is your God, right? Allah. What Allah command them to do? To first of all, not uh, fish. On not the fish. Sabbath. No, it's in the front of you. He ordered and them to call. To to not go, kill, no, no. To, he the ordered them. Listen, listen. He ordered them to to go and kill all the Palestinians. The Canaanian. The Palestinian, the real Palestinian, not you. You are yeah. just uh, eh, okay. So. Yeah, those okay, are okay, the Palestinians. Okay, 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 yeah, those Palestinians. Okay, the, the 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 actual Palestinian, not the Arab, which I know. Okay, I know, exactly. Whatever. Thank you very much. Okay. So now, I'm not... Allah He ordered them to kill all the Palestinians. What what the Jews did? They refused, correct? Right. Okay, and that make them make Allah angry from them, correct? At that time. Doesn't matter that time now. That for sure that time. So what? But Allah. He liked them to kill the Palestinian, correct? There, there was many people who, 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 got, who Allah asked the the Israelites why, why we to wanna, kill. Why would I go in, go in circle jihad? I mean, I'm asking you, and you are a man, you are smart. Give me the answer. Did Didi, Allah get upset? Didi. Did Allah get upset from them for not killing the Palestinian? Either you say yes, he got upset, and he punished them for that, or he was okay with it. Okay. Well, Okay, show me the show me the verse. Let's first of all, I'm not even saying I'm, you know, I mean, uh, you know, the Quran. Uh, I I look to it, but 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 show me the verse what you're talking about so we can get some context about what you're saying here. Chapter five, verse number twenty-one. Allah, He told Moses, you can you can read it from verse number twenty or even before. Five twenty-one. Read it from twenty. Allah, let, He let says. Allah he said to Moses, I remember when Moses, where the Qala Musa, actually there's no remember, this is a false translation. And when Moses he said to his people, Oh my people, remember my favor upon a favor of Allah to you, where he made prophets among you and kings, and gave you what he had not given to any other among mankind and genie. So the Jews are the favorite people of Allah. The Quran confirmed that. Remember, you mentioned to me the Sahai. We know that. Hmm. Everybody knows that. Okay. So now, so Moses now he ordered them to go and attack. He says, Oh my people, Allah told them, Allah told me, Oh my people, enter the Holy Land between two bracket Palestine, which Allah has assigned to you, and not to turn your back in a fight for when you will be returned as a loser. Okay, so let me ask you a question. When Moses went to Pharaoh to to show him his miracles, and 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 Pharaoh brought back his sihir to show his magic, then what happened? My friend, why we are why, why we are all over the place? We were talking. No, no what happened? Hold Allah on, gave on. Moses the land, right? What? What? He delivered him out. He sent him to to Israel. Okay, so, so we know that. Okay, but this is not no, this is not the topic. You said to me, show me where it says go and kill the Palestinians. So why you escape the conversation? Uh, you you asked me to give you the verses, and okay, now so we the, start reading them, so, and then suddenly you jump to the Pharaoh. Okay, so what you're talking about is is reporting a story, is it not? So you know, what? Just reporting what happened. Okay, so what? Allah he ordered to kill the Palestinian. The Jews refused to kill the Palestinian. Allah he made them lose their way for 40 years in the desert. They said to Moses, We will not go and fight them. Go on, you and your God fight them, okay? Your God. Why you wanna go fight? And then Allah, he because he got upset from them for refusing killing the Palestinians, slaughtering them all, he said to them, Therefore, the Holy Land is forbidden for to them for 40 years. Why? Because they refuse to go and fight. With Moses, so as you see, if the Jews did not kill and fight the Palestinian, Allah will curse them, will punish them. Do you want the Jews now to be forbidden to go to Israel again for forty years? No, I'm sure not. You like to be an Israeli yourself. Which one is a better citizenship, to be under Hamas or to be under Israel? Be honest. Israel. 
okay, but CP, that was a different time back then. I mean, it doesn't matter, look, my friend. First of all, the Arabs were not in in Palestine at that time. My friend, my friend, doesn't matter. This is the, this is the logic. The logic is, if you are against killing, then you are against killing. It, not, you, you cannot give an excuse. Oh, because at that time, this is not the time. So, if Allah is Allah is giving the land, taking the land from people who own the land, own the land, they are there. They are there. Exist for the, thousands of years. They build towns and cities. So either you're against it, and then that will be your logic all the time, or you support it. So what what you say? Well, my friend, isn't it God gives progressive revelation? Oh, okay. See, now you are saying God. So uh, do you, do you, uh, so why you why you speak about logic and speak about ethic? And when you want, ethic is no. Covered. But what I'm saying is, is the command of God at a certain time. My friend, this is the, the this is the this is the command of God. No problem. Even the you, Bible you goes said with to this. Me, you said to me, "Do you support the Jews killing children?" You said that, not me. Can you show me where in the Quran it says that this was for that time for the Jews? Can you go ahead? I want to learn from you. And remember when when Musa said to his people, "Oh my people, remember the favor of Allah to you, when He made prophets among you, made you kings, and gave you what He had not given to any other among an alamin." Hmm. Okay, so this is referring. You, you say that this is referring when uh, God told uh, uh, Moses to to attack the Canaanites. The yeah, whatever who lived there. And he refused. Not he did not refuse. He he wanted to go. He wanted to do jihad, like your name. Your name is Jih your name is jihad. So well, he refused. So the 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 Jews refused to do jihad. Only two men. Only two men. They said, "Yeah, let us go attack me and you." Like uh, very silly. Like two men and Musa's only. I mean that's funny. Three men they wanted to conquer a city. <laughs> Brother, at, at that time, that uh -huh. that land was for Bani Israel. My friend, it doesn't matter why you are jumping. I'm asking you, are you against the killing? If it's you are against the killing, then your ethics would not change. Either you are against killing of people who own the land, or you don't mind if somebody take your land from you. So are you no, do, listen? Do you support I'm taking the land of somebody or you don't? You yourself, you are yourself, you say there's no Arab at that time. So you yourself, you're an occupation. You yourself is an occupation for that land. So this is the hypocrisy. They they called they occupy a land and they call themselves Palestinian. You are not Palestinian. And you agreed. And you are the one who said, yes, the actual Palestinian is not us. So the Arab are not the actual Palestinian. So why you call yourself Palestinian? Who gave you the right just because you occupy the land? So this is the land of the Jews. Give in to the Jews. But we live in the modern time now. That's the issue. No I mean, problem. In modern in modern time, do you tie people to the, your bicycle and you 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 scroll them over the road, in in Gaza right now? Do you crucify oh. people? Yes, you do. Do you shoot people if you don't agree with you? Yes, you do. Do you arrest a journalist if he make a statement in in the news you don't like? Yes, you do. And what you do, you make them disappear. So what modern, you know, those those Muslims, when they want, they are moderate. When they want, they are they are savage. This is the reality. Can you name for me one person in the territory where your family live? He can be free to say something Hamas don't agree with or the authority, what they call a, a Palestinian authority. You will, you will be kidnapped in two seconds. So if the Jews go after you because you are fighting them, well, they are at least Jews. They are not your people and you are an enemy to them. I, so if the Jews are being aggressive with you because you are fighting and killing. I know. Okay. I, in, the la, friend, in the last know, month, uh, okay. in the last my, month, in the last month, how my many, friend. how many Palestinian Muslims he attack a female with knives? How many Palestinian they attack children with knives? How many cars hit uh, uh, Israel? Yeah, Israel. Yeah, Jewish children. How many uh, teenage? How many, how many time? The, the Muslims in there, they hit with their cars over people. They, they drove over them. So how come you I don't know, see? But, but sometimes they say it, it's revenge. Okay, your revenge from the one who did it to you, not from the children, not from the women. Right, no, yeah, to, to be honest with you, yeah, no, it's not. It's not that way. If, 
It's not because it's it's brother warfare. It's men versus men. Okay? And when the and 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 when when there's women and children, that's it. They they become uh Okay, let me have, ask you. you did the Jews took the Palestinian women as sex slaves? As I know, the Jews they will kill a newborn baby. I'm asking you if did he's the a Jews, male. Did the Jews take the, the Jews will kill a newborn baby if he's a male? My friend, oh. my, my my friend, you can make things as you wish. You can say things as you wish. Go watch a movie called Farha. It's on Netflix. Okay, it's anyway, a story go. He, he, he went to prom. In 1948. He, okay, he want to show me. Okay, I can show you how go the watch. Muslims, how the Muslims, they kill. Salad. My friend, I can put for you right now in the screen, not a movie, of a million and a half Armenian slaughtered with no mercy, children, women, kids, Turkey. men, in the name of Allah. A million and a half. Not one kid, not one woman, not 40. So either you want to be play hypocrite and you close your eyes all the time when you want, or you don't and you are always against uh, bad things so you can kill them your prophet he enslaved them he killed their children they asked muhammad is it okay if we kill their their you know their are home which means their children when we attack he said they are from them he said that but okay but, hold, but on, hold on hold on you're looking at the hadith jihad okay uh, let us go to the quran as long as you don't like the hadith if i see in the street a kid playing and i don't like him can i kill him no Okay, why the Quran says you can? What do you mean, man? Okay, if I show you from the Quran, because... Why, why, hold why on. do you do this, man? Why My do friend, you do this? Why do you do this, man? You are talking to Christian Prince. You cannot play games with me. You know that. So I'm asking you, if I see a child in the street... Brother, and... I read the Bible. My friend, I'm asking you... The question. I look to the Bible and the Don't change Quran the topic. Don't to change the topic. What the similarities are. Okay, hold on. If I show you from the Quran that you can't like kill many imams did. Okay, okay. Uh, if I but, ask. Okay, but, 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 oh, but go hold ahead. on, hold on. If I show you from the Quran that a child he was playing with kids, and he is a son of believers, which means he's a Muslim, and the Prophet of Allah he killed him. What do you think? No, I, I mean, the thing is, CP, I just think that there were so many corrupt Arabs back in the day that they just wanted power and they they distorted the true message because like Musa, he came to people who basically they worship statues and he wanted to remind them to believe in one God. And and in the Arabian Peninsula, there was Muhammad who tried to warn the people not to worship statues. Okay. But then you had other so, people who were corrupt. Okay, we will go back to the killing kids. Because so the now Arabs we switch, are corrupt. So now we will switch the topic. No problem. Let, us, let me ask you. Uh, no, but, is, is having statues is forbidden no, Islam? No, what did I do? What is did having, I do? Is having statues forbidden Islam? When you, when you say Islam, Islam, I, I, it's about submission, my friend. I don't care. I'm asking you. Is it forbidden? You are the one who mentioned statues now. Is it's it... forbidden in the eyes of the Creator. Okay. Uh, so, so read for me this forbidden. verse. Here we go. Okay. Read for me this verse. But Jesus. Well, hold on, hold on. You see, you keep jumping from place to place. No, we can't even I'm, stop but, in one place. So is, hold on, hold on. Chapter I'm thirty-four, not... verse number thirteen. It says that the uh, the Prophet of Allah, Akas Salamun. He ordered the genies to make statues for him in his temple. You said to me, statues for sure they are forbidden. Who? So Solomon? Solomon, yeah. And this is the Aif hadith in the Quran. Quran, uh, what chapter? What surah? Chapter 34, verse number 13. They made for him whatever he wished of sanctuaries and statues and basins as great watering uh, statue. Okay, this is... You know, you speak Arabic. Why in the English translation okay. they took the oh, word yeah. the statues let's, for? Let's why why, why okay. in the English translation? Okay, read it, read it, read it in Arabic. 
if you read it slowly in Arabic, I will understand it. If you read it in Arabic, okay. put it put okay. it on the screen in Arabic, right. and you read it slowly, and I more than likely will understand it. All right. يعملون له ما يشاء من محاري. لا ما شفتش ما شفتش إيش الساعة. Okay, استنى استنى يا أخوي. It's going to come to you. Do you see it now? أنت فلسطيني كمان. Come on. وروح تعيش في السعودية. Don't change the topic now. Now he thinks I'm a Palestinian. أنا أعرف لك يا زلمة أنا بعرفك. Oh, okay, okay. He he know me, guys. He know me. So listen, read read the verse with me. Do you see it now? Okay, yeah, I see it in Arabic. Okay. So you read it slowly. I'll read it slowly so you can understand. Okay. Do you see it? Uh -huh. Okay, so who is the one making this? The genie. For who? To the prophet of God, as a Muslim prophet of God. You said to me, it's forbidden in Islam to have statues. Uh -huh. But it's not. What? I don't understand, man. This this one, I don't, can you repeat it? They make for him as he wish from buildings, like in the temple, Maharib, place you pray, and idols, Tamathil. Okay, bro okay. brother, let, let, let me tell you something, uh, okay? Uh -huh. we, have to, we have to agree with praying and fasting and charitable giving. I don't agree with statues, okay? So, but uh, are, you, are you saying you don't agree with the Quran? If it says statues, then it's th there's something wrong. Okay, so do you there's agree no or not? Do you agree with the Quran or not? But I didn't understand this verse, though. Uh, okay, very simple. You know, this is fiction story. The verse before it's speaking about Solomon, he have a flying carpet. Which is very normal at that time. I mean, you and me and my grandfather, we used to have flying carpets. Which so, word is statue? What? Tamathil, Tamathil. Here we go. This is the word Tamathil. Tamathil, men. Say the other word. Tamathil. What another word? Bad men. What's the word? It's highlighted. Men Mahariba. What Tamathil? Mahariba. What does that mean? Synagogue. Ma'bad. Synagogue. Yeah, Ma'bad. Temple. So they built for him synagogue full of Tamathil, full of idols. Hmm. Okay. You're saying that's uh, statues? My friend, you are the one who said statues. You forgot what you said. And yes, this is what the word means, Tamathil, statues. You speak Arabic. Maybe your Arabic is not strong, but you can ask your parents, your mother, your father. Let them read it for you. Does it say to Matthew, I'm making things up? No, I don't want that. Brother, I, I, I read a lot out of the Bible. Hmm. You understand me? No, don't change topic. Let's go back now to the killing the, the children. If I walk in the street and I see a kid, I think he will be bad in the future. Can I kill him when he's a kid? Is that in the Quran? No, in the Hadith. See, Pete. What? You got to be kidding me here. Why? Anytime, anytime anybody says anything, you want to come with an answer? Well, isn't it the Quran? Any, anyone, he say anything? It's the same. The Muslim, they say that they collected the Quran long after Muhammad. And anybody, he say something, he say anything. He say, this is uh, the Prophet says, so they put it in the Quran. Go and see how they collected the Quran. However, my friend, this is in the Quran. This is not even in the Hadith. I was just joking with you. Chapter 18, verse number 74. Okay. 1874. Quran. 18, So they set out uh, until when they met a boy, he killed him. 
Moses said, have you killed a pure soul for other than having killed a soul? You have certainly done a deplorable thing. Hmm. What do you think? This is a prophet of Allah. His name is Al-Khadr. He was walking with Moses. Well, well, Allah, what story were they reporting here? Moses Allah, the Allah is reporting the story. Allah reporting the story. Allah is Israel. reporting the story of when Moses went to the countryside in disguise. No. And he killed an Egyptian. No. Uh, and it's a mistake here. No, 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 no. Allah, he sent Moses. Okay, I'm not saying the Quran doesn't have mistakes. Okay, so you agree the Quran is a stupid the book then? Because I watched many Scott, many shiuch from you know from Iraq who who I resonated with. Hmm. There, there's no order is what I'm saying. The order is off. Okay, so the Quran is messed up. The or yeah, I mean like. But the but Quran but, is but jihad, you said to me a second ago. Oh, are you going to take the stupid Abu Bakr? Are you going to take the Hadith? So the, you said to me the Hadith is the one is messed up, and now we find that you are agreeing that the Quran is well, messed I mean, up. Well, I mean, look, too. even even I mean, there's holes in the narrative. I mean, okay, there's, there's holes, holes in the narrative. But what, I, what I'm saying is that what you can glean out of the Quran to the extent that it agrees with, to the extent that it agrees with, the 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 Torah, hmm. and there's stuff in agreement with each other. You can take it. You can take it. There's Am a I hole right or wrong? in the narrative. What what does that mean? The hole in the narrative. Do you understand what I just said to the extent that it's in agreement with, you know? But the, what? But that means that scripture. mean that means anything in the Quran can be a hole in the narrative. How you can grant like that, what you? Yeah, asked, I mean, there's there's people who believe that. I mean, the the the, the, the main the mainstream is not going to believe that, but. You know, I mean, this is what 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 we some people have come to nowadays after after everything that they, they've seen online. So it's it's not that you want to just oh yeah, it's over with. But but yeah, this is how it comes. As long we agree that there is holes in the narrative, that's mean. Any any verse in the Quran can be one of those holes. But my friend, you know. Like I'm not saying there's anything wrong with with Jesus's name. I'm just saying if somebody reads the gospel, you cannot understand it. Hmm. You well, can't understand. Why we can't understand it? You can't understand because you don't know what's right and what's wrong. How to pray? How? how? I mean, there, there's there's some there's no there's not there's nothing 100 percent clear in the no, gospel. No, Jesus said, "Go to your closet and pray." There's no. There's no need to stand up this way, okay. lay down so, this way. You know, you want to know what if if oh. I was to become a Christian, I wouldn't even know if I pray to the Father or the Son. Who do I give the prayers to? Jesus said, "You say uh, who?" They asked, do you "Hold pray on." To the Son they asked, "They asked Jesus how to pray." He says, "Our Father, art in heaven." So why you are saying he did not tell you how to pray? Why you are making things? Okay, up? so you repeat the same thing. It's the same thing, isn't it? Jesus said that me and the Father is one. The one who saw me, he saw the Father. Yeah. Isn't it Jesus? That. He said you can do miracle in my name. Isn't it Jesus? He said go and teach. You know, like so. So you know, you are you are, you are just uh, uh, making excuses. Oh, there is no manual. How I stand up? How I? Uh, okay. How I'm going to wash my hands? Well, the Jews they have a long, huge book about how to pray, how to clean yourself. How to stand up, what to say, what not to say. And it looks like the all, Christians, all, they abrogated it. No, we did not. Abrogated No, it. but Jesus don't want us to be the same as the hypocrite Jews, like the Muslims. They play in the corner. So he said, don't be like those hypocrites. I know they are not really seeking God. They are praying in the corners so they can, you know, show off. So everything is the same. But don't pray like them. Don't do what they do. If you want to pray, Pray in your closet, which means in the private room. How many room. times? Doesn't matter what time. Three times? Doesn't matter. You play a thousand times. Prayer should not be about a time. Should not be an obligation. Should be between the servant and his God. I love to talk to you. I call you. If I don't like you, if I don't miss you, I do not need you, I don't. So a servant of God, he always remember God when he eat, when he drink, when he drive, when he go to work. He always have God in his heart. 
So you always in connection with God, not only when you go and stand up and you put your hands at the top of your, yourself, and then after two minutes, you go and start saying the F word to people. That's what the Muslims do. You know, you are from Palestine. You know the child molestation. You know the rape. You know the kidnap. You know the scam. You know the prostitution. And then, but all of them, they are Hamas. Everybody is praying to Allah. Everybody in the mosque. Everybody is religious. But the most corrupt society ever. So what you are focusing in, oh, what time? What time I have to go to pray? What time I have to stop? And you know, I like what you say, the standard narratives has holes. That is the whole Quran, because the standard narratives is the Quran. Because I was thinking maybe you can, you, can, you can have an idea that there's prophets, and then there's the Messiah. And the Messiah, he's above a prophet, but he's not equal to Allah. My friend, it's not up to you to say who is equal, who is not. Jesus says, I and the Father is one. The one who saw me, he saw the Father. Can you say? So you have the Messiah, can, who's number two. The, you have the, Allah there is nothing is called number one. no there's nothing is called no 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 there's nothing is called number 1 number because 2 brother, number 3 no 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 we, we don't even have numbers those are not exist there's no numbers the trinity is not numbers okay so if god if 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 god is a spirit if the father is a spirit then what is the holy spirit as a separate thing is that the spirit of god on earth it's confusing. Uh, you see, Please. you are confusing because you are trying. Uh, when I try to explain to you now, if I say to you, who is your God? What you will say? You will say he have no spirit, correct? I mean, whatever you guys came no, with. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Because we, we want to we we compare to see who. Uh, Plus, how, you guys came with enough. Say, you guys came with enough stuff. We came so with what? It. Came with what? You came with enough stuff. Is is it a human? Is it a spirit? Is he on a chair? Is he a leg? Can, is can, he this or that? Can, okay. Tell us. Are you, are, you question, are you questioning if God can or he cannot? He can. Okay. So why you just shut up then? He can. He can be a spirit and the same time he is the father. He can be the same time the son. He can be the same time with us. He can be up in heaven. He can. So either you say that God, he can or he cannot. And a second ago, you said, yes, he can. So all your question is invalid because the one who he can, he can. You are questioning now if he can, but all, and you just admit that he can. So if he can, then he can. So if you are saying how he can, what you just said, he can. But your God cannot. In the Quran says how Allah can have a son, yet he don't have a girlfriend. So Allah, he said it clearly, he cannot have a son unless he have a girlfriend. So my God, he can, <laughs> he can have a son and yet he don't have a girlfriend. He don't have a wife. Even the Quran says sahiba. And you know what sahiba mean girlfriend, correct? Not wife. Wife would be Imra'a. No, Imra'a would be a woman. But, Zawja. Yani imra'atak, yani yeah, imra'atak. Yeah, yeah, correct. You're right, right, you're right in this, in this aspect. Yes. Yeah. But sahiba. So Allah, he cannot, my God, he can. So you have, you have a God who himself, he questioned his ability. My God, he can. So my God, he can do things nobody can do. He can be three and one. He can be everywhere. He can be spirit. He can be a man. He can come any, any as you wish. But you Muslims cannot take a God unless he, as you wish. You got, you Muslims, you are trying to design a God. You don't because have it. It looks like, yani, yani Jesus, uh, my friend when Jesus yani come to us permission. okay no problem when Jesus he come to this earth he is coming as an, in the form of a man so people they look at the front of them they see a man so what Jesus will say to them so my, maybe, yeah, maybe uh, he's powerful let, in, let in, me, in, let in, me in a very let me in a human let way me, he's me more answer, powerful than all you. other humans no problem no problem, bas, bas, bas no problem. But, okay but, uh, but if Jesus says before the word I was with the father, that mean is not a man. He is with the father before the word exists, before the whole world is created. So when Jesus says before the word I was with you and you glorify me and I glorify you, then Jesus is not a person who got the permission as like a servant to serve us. And, you know, no, those are all prophet. Uh, God created them and then he sent them. Jesus is not the same. Jesus is exists before any creation is exist. So but, when, when we say, hold on, when we say, when you say Jesus got the permission, well, this is the same God, the God, he want to give a permission to himself. 
So my father, he sent me. He have a work to do. I have a work to do, Jesus said. He have a work to do, and I have work to do. So he is doing his part as a work in earth. And now he is in heaven. So when he is in earth, he is doing his work as part of the mission he came to do it. Then yes, the father, he sent me. Why? Because I have work to do, and my father work too. This is what Jesus said. So the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit are working, and the same as the Father do, Jesus said, I do. The same as the Father do, I do. The same work the Father do, I do. So if you want to read the Bible, if you understand, try to go deep. Don't be silly and shallow and say, oh, you know, he have a permission. What permission? Permission to be creator. Permission to, to make the blind see and to make and why this permission gave only to Jesus? What about the rest? Aren't they the prophet? Who you know, if you look in the in the in the stories in the Quran, as yeah, example. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I will, I guess what I'm saying is as 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 uh, Messiah, he's 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 above normal prophet. Hmm. As Messiah. How how is a prophet? How he, how he is a how he is a prophet. In fact, there is no prophet save God. All the prophets are not really prophet. Even we call them prophets because the true prophet is only God. All the prophecies coming from God. Who is the first one who knows? God. And then God, he tell us, and then we, the one who tell us the prophecy, we call him prophet. But in reality, the true prophet who knew the future is God. The human being, he don't know. So we call them prophet, which is not really an accurate name but just to explain what they do they prophesy in the name of God but the fact is the true prophet is only God the rest are just doing delivery so then you're saying that God he sent himself as a human to to be in, in a in a shape that the humans know yeah the Bible says that he is the invisible image of the invisible God he humbled himself, God humbled himself, and he took the image of a man. Because so, as I know, like, what well, you know, when, 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 when Moses spoke to Allah, hmm. if Moses saw Allah, he'll, he'll die. He'll, he'll be dead. Okay. You can't, you can't, you can't see. Yeah. And, Otherwise, right? Okay. And? So that, so you can't really see God. Hmm. So, because so, so, you cannot, you cannot see God. So that, that's why you have Jesus. Okay, you cannot see. Right? Yeah, you cannot see God the way He is with His glory. So God, He humbled Himself, and He took the image of a man, so you can see Him. Isn't it all? Always we see the atheist says, "Okay, where is your God? If God is true, always where is God? If God is true, how come? Okay, let, let me see your God." Actually, one of the disciples of Jesus says, let us see the Father, and that's it. Even the disciple of Jesus, okay. he said to him, show us the Father, and that's it, which means, I'm satisfied if you show me the Father. So what Jesus said to him, I am with you all the time, and you do not know me. The one who saw the Father, he saw me. The one who saw me, sorry, he saw the Father. Yeah. So when, when the Messiah speak of himself, you know, he is speaking about his humble image, his humble coming, and uh, you know, uh, he's explaining to you where the man who is speaking in front of you, where he's getting, what his background, uh, who am I? You know, okay, you are asking me like the Jews. They said to him, "Who are you? You, you, you forgive sin? Who, who forgives sins? Save God." You know, so Jesus said to them, "Which one is easier?" To say, go, your sin is forgiven, or to say, carry your bed and walk. The guy cannot walk. He carry his bed and walk. I can say, go, your sin is forgiven. Talk is cheap. But Jesus, right. he did what nobody can do. He made him carry the bed, and as you see, he is forgiven sin. And the funny is, the Muslim, they say to us, where Jesus claimed to be God. Isn't it the Quran says, وَمَنْ يَغْفُرُ ذُنُوبَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ غَيْرَ اللَّهِ So let me ask you a question. Did the... Uh... Did Jesus did he come for everyone or did he come just for, for just for for every, everybody everybody you know everybody but but you have to accept you know we believe in free will you know it's up to you he said knock at my door but the, why did he you. say why did he say why did you forsake me 
This is, the, this is the quotation. From, this is the quotation for, from the Old Testament, the Book of Psalm, about you know uh, how they will uh, they will crucify him. He have no guilt. He did not kill. He did not uh, rape. He did not steal. He have no guilt. And now they are torturing him. And so this is a prophecy speaking about him, and he is quoting it to remind you what is mentioned before about him. Okay. So. Hmm. Um... Who, who is the one who forgives sin, Jihad? Well, from what I know, it's God. Okay, and your God name is Allah, right? Allah. Okay. If there's other person can forgive sin? No. Okay, so when Jesus, he uh, forgives sin, what he is doing? Is he a judge? Okay, Does I'm asking you. I cannot, I cannot, even if I'm a judge, I cannot forgive your sin you know if I'm a judge I will say okay I will I will not punish you I will let you go out of jail but the sin is sin this is when we say the word sin is something you do against God not against man right in chapter 3 verse number 135 it says who forgives sin save Allah who can do that and this is Quran this is not hadith so when Jesus he forgives sin and there's tons of example in the Bible about it Jesus is practicing his authority as God for only God can forgive sin Did they witness that yeah it's written the Jews they say to him the Jews get so angry you know he said who is the one who forgives sin who are you so Jesus he read his their mind and he said which one is easier to say Go and your sin is forgiven, or carry your bed and walk. And the guy he carry his bed and walk. And Jesus he said that many times, many places in the Bible. So uh, the Quran says Allah can forgive sin, but then we find that Allah is saying to Muhammad, May Allah forgive your sin. <laughs> so it looked like Allah was asking Jesus to forgive the sin of Muhammad. All right. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm listening to what you're saying. All right. So my friend Jesus is, a, uh, you know, you have to agree that Jesus is a very special person. Even if you are a Muslim, you will find. Yeah, they called him. They called him a healer. Uh, they even, you know, he, he healed people. Uh, uh, no problem. But you see, even we are talking about those who they are secular and atheist. They confirm there is tons of books in the world confirm in history that this person he was able to do miracle healer healing is a miracle you don't give medicine yeah they, they they said that about okay him. so even the one who is antichrist in our book because the one who denied the son and the father is antichrist even those they witness that jesus he is they a, give different suggestions about him but they they witness that many people witnessed from his time that he healed yeah so those are the enemy of jesus remember so if my enemy witness uh, for me that I can do things nobody can do, then how we can explain that? Okay, Jesus can heal, and they are atheists. Okay, but C CP, he healed, hmm. he's crucified, but did he resurrect? And this is the question. What? That everybody asks: Did he, did he resurrect back to life? Yes, he does. You know, the, he came to the disciples. That's, that's what people wonder about. My friend, the disciples. That specific we, thing. Uh, everything in the Bible have witnesses everything have witnesses so jesus in the bible there's tons of verses speaking about the witnesses who saw jesus after his crucifixion not only one not two not three not four not five not six not ten etc so when we have witnesses then it's confirmed if we have no witnesses it's not confirmed so the same as you mentioned to me about the healing there's witnesses otherwise the books are written about history written by non-christians and actually those who attack like this guy with his name borat i don't know what his name uh, uh, Mimi Hijab have interview with him even this one he said he was in a video with David what he says yes the disciple they saw after the Mark Herman yeah he said yes the, the video of the, uh, David will go watch it he said yes the obviously the, the disciple they saw someone look like Jesus this is after the crucifixion so how they can see that I mean what it's is a that? little bit shaky yeah I mean you know I've been hearing stuff because you know I mean I, I've spoke to you because the thing is about you is you guys like to to act, you you like to attack uh, people's emotions like, 
a lot of those people who leave Islam, you tell them, oh, wow, Islam says this. I don't have a problem if it's the word of God, but it's I, I, I search for the truth, you know. I find that this is funny, uh, Jihad. Isn't it you you called me maybe a year ago and you decide to leave Islam? Did I attack your emotion? Because because at that time, let me let me let me explain to you. Okay. Back in those days, I was convinced that Ahl al Sunnah wal Jama'ah was was the ultimate truth, and that's when I begin watching CP. Okay. And that's when I begin seeing all the stuff which comes to mind. But did I attack which, your emotion? And then you said to me, "Okay, you know what? I'm not going to believe in this garbage no more." Do you remember what you said? It was more than a year ago, correct? Maybe two years. I'm not sure. About had yeah. Okay, so you yourself did did I attack your emotion or I showed you? No, but you... back in the days, I used to believe in the sunnah. Doesn't matter. And doesn't then, matter. Doesn't matter. Uh, and then whenever did you I guys, show you because everything you guys said was hadith, hadith, hadith. No, I'm hadith. showing you Quran. I'm showing you Quran too. This is not true. I don't just show hadith. Same time, Islam is based on the hadith and the Quran. You said to me how many times you pray. Can you show me in the Quran where it says five? Nowhere. Can you show me how to fast? Can you show me how to wipe your hands exactly the details with all the details? It's no, only... no. Okay, so either you follow the hadith or you don't. So, uh, uh, you know, either we are going to deny the hadith, which is a shame because that means you Muslims don't trust Muslims. That means Muslims, they lie about their prophet. Therefore, they are not trustworthy. And if, if, they, if they can corrupt the hadith, they can corrupt the Quran. Because the Quran is the one you are reading is according to according to according to according to according to recitation Not even a book. They don't have a book until now Muslims don't have a book for the Quran What we see in front of us is a print of someone they claim his name is Hafs recitation was the best And Hafs if you search right now in Arabic, it says Hafs kana kathaban. He is a liar. He's a thief and his father was the same Ibn Asim Awesome is his father's stepfather. He was a fraud. So, and this is why the Muslim they refuse even to accept his hadith. So, how we accept we don't accept his hadith because he's a liar, but we accept his Quran. So, when you call me two years ago, I'm not sure what the date is. You, uh, you, you said I'm not going to believe in this garbage no more, and you decide to leave us now. And now you are calling me again, and you are saying you're a Muslim. No, did. Did I say anything? I'm, I, I, all I did was I, I didn't say, I didn't say yes or no. No, you say, the way, you say, I, I, re I remember very well. People, they can search for friend. the video. People, they can search for the video. I think they will find something about jihad, even Islam. Go ahead. Good luck. You will hear yourself. Okay. No, 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 no. I'm, 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 I'm not denying that. But at that time, what I'm trying to explain to you hmm. is that everything was in shock to me about because I was looking at hadith and this and that and. And I started, I, I started thinking in a, in a different way and looking mm. at different scholars. Okay. What, what about now? I'm showing you Quran. I asked you about killing the boy. You refused to, uh, to continue on the topic. Is it okay to kill a boy just because he's a, I don't like how he look like? Because I think he will be kafir one day. Should I kill a, a person before he do the, 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 the guilt? And he's a Muslim ki a kid? He's a son of believers. You refuse to answer. I mean, that's that's from the Quran. I mean, yeah, that's from the Quran. So I, I'm I'm saying to you, my friend. I'm saying to you, you you most times you give excuses. Oh, this is from the Hadith. I don't trust the Hadith one hundred percent. Okay, we show you the Quran. Oh, you have wrong interpretation. Okay, we show you the interpretation, and then you say I don't accept the interpretation. <laughs> so what we will do? You know, sometimes I feel like I'm I'm speaking to a monkey. I'm not insulting you, but a monkey. He keeps jumping from branch to branch, and he's trying. I'm trying to convince him that the ball he have in his hand is Macy's boy, not a coconut. Well, I think I mentioned before that in some situations, I, I don't I don't think that the Quran was preserved properly. I don't care, my friend, if it's not preserved. That means the Quran is the book of God because the Quran says that Allah, he will preserve the Quran. So it's not the preserved, but Allah, he said he will preserve the Quran. And now we have a monkey holding the ball of Macy's and trying to convince him that this is not a coconut. 
So which one I should show you? I show you the Quran, you say it's not preserved. I show you the Hayyid, not preserved. I show you the interpretation, not preserved. I show you so what I will do. You tell me. It doesn't matter I mean, where because, I go. Because you you focus on 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 the the Ahl al Sunnah. That's what you. My what friend, you this is Quran. On. This is not Shia. This is not Sunnah. This is Quran. What Shia? Actually, I'm not. I, I I can show you the Shia. The Shia will drive you crazy. The Shia believe that Hassan al Hussein they speak seventy million languages. And if you wear if you wear a black shoes, your penis will not function. If you wear a, a yellow shoes, you will be booming, booming like non-stop. Don't go to the Shia. You will die laughing. Ali, he was in Japan in the same time he was in Persia, in the same time he was taking his lunch in Damascus. This is the Shia. The Shia now in Iraq, they put for them dirt every year, tons of dirt, because they steal the dirt around the grave of Al Hassan Al Hussein and they eat it. Literally, they eat the dirt. This is the Shia. So I'm not mentioning the Shia because the Shia. It's not the one who's making big noise about themselves. They are so quiet. You Sunni make big noise. So we have to put a needle in the balloon and then people will notice that the balloon is just gas. There's nothing inside. It's a big balloon, drum, boom, 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 boom. The second you put a needle in the drum. That's what I was responding to. Okay, so you okay, agree with and me. Then, and then there was there was even a Shia scholar in, in Iraq and there was many of them who said that the the Quran has uh, tahrif in it hmm. because of the of the uh, co some of the companions yeah, that the were Shia, not reliable. The Shia they believe that the true Quran is with Fatima and Fatima she took uh, uh, Al Mahdi who will bring the Quran back. Al Mahdi he will bring it. Back. So that so I mean so th that that's where I started to go with it was that okay you know after I heard the holes in the narrative thing I was like okay. Perhaps it no, no, wasn't no, no, preserved. No, 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 hold on, it's not hold on. Uh, Jihad? And then, no. lo and behold, I find out that that's how Shia believe, no. and so that must go back to some certain tradition that exists. Okay, but you left right Islam. Wrong? You, you told me you left Islam before Yasser Qadi. He said the whole narrative, and now you are coming be calling me back as a Muslim. I don't know what happened to you, but you, maybe you can. No, explain. I mean, I, I mean, I was just in. I mean, at the end of the day. I, I reject a lot of the ideologies you were presenting. I mean, you got to admit, CP, everything you present is, okay, the prophet, he took a bath with a pool of blood. He took the black dog is this, the black this and that. Everything is hadith, hadith, hadith. So, of course, I, I didn't, I, I didn't, I said, okay, I mean, this is, yeah. No, I, I never show hadith only. And the same as I'm doing my conversation with you now, nothing changed. I, we go from place to place. When you say I don't accept hadith, I go to the Quran. When you say I accept hadith, I go to the hadith. So this is not really an excuse. And here we go. I showed you from the Quran. What do you do? You, what you do? You deny the Quran. You say there's holes in the narrative and the Quran is not preserved. So what is the solution with, with, uh, with jihad? No, there is no solution because jihad is in denial. He don't want to accept the fact that he have no God. He have no religion. His religion is very corrupt. And there's nothing trustworthy in, in in Islam, nothing, because the Hadith is written by Muslims, Quran written by Muslims, and the Sirah written by Muslims, and then the Muslims themselves they don't accept what they wrote by their hand. So what we will do? Okay, I guess I have to think about it. All right. So you, you don't wanna you don't wanna denounce Islam today, and you don't wanna say you you left Islam again. My friend, I don't, I don't want to say anything. Uh, why not? You know, I don't, I don't like to make any rash decisions. You, why, why because... you know, you already you said that the Quran is corrupt. According to Islam, this is will make you ex-Muslim right now. What I'm saying to you is, brother, is like, okay, okay, Jesus is the Messiah. There was many prophets who came to to warn of the message, mm. the message of God. Mm. So we wait for the end times for the truth to be revealed. Mm. But at the end of the day, the one who is good, who does righteous deeds, mm. like let's say, for example, I'm a person who prays to God, the creator. Let's say I'm a person who goes 
and 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 help support person or i find you know a, a sick bird on the street and i let him drink some water hmm. is, is is god gonna accept those things well you are you are going off for things that have nothing to do with my topic it's not up to me if i make uh you know if i give a bird some water that will not make me a good enough for god because still i'm sinner am i like a holy person now because i gave the bird uh, uh some pepsi cola what does that have to do with me being good you know uh, all a human being even criminals they do good even even criminals even rapists they can do good but they are rapists that will not change anything very simple so either we are good and then we do not even need god because we are good we are good like god then but because we are not good then there's no that's good why you have jesus as a as as an interceder right he intercedes well, you know the, the the statement of interceding is true or not true in the same time because it is jesus himself who forgives sin but the intercession here is about jesus being the middle way for you let's say between you and heaven so through jesus your sin is forgiven and then you go to heaven but who forgive your sin jesus it's not he's not asking the father to forgive you he himself is forgiving you uh, yeah it's 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 difficult to understand hmm. but you know uh, when jesus I was on the cross when, when jesus was on the cross uh, he said everything Jesus has said it's based in, 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 in the wisdom of God so he said forgive them father they do not know what they are doing this is the son speaking to the father asking him to forgive who the one who is killing him because Jesus he don't want the Christians and the father to do penalty for those people because this is a great sin they did against Jesus so Jesus he is asking the father I forgive him Father, they don't know what they are doing. So Jesus forgives sin, the Father forgives sin, and Father and the Son is a one willing or one will happening to us. So if it's the will of the Father that the Son forgives sin, it's the will of the Son that the Father forgives sin, it's the will of the Father that the Son forgives sin. So it is the will of God that you're sent to be forgiven if you ask for it and if you repent as simple as that well that you know at the end of the day i'm 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 a student of knowledge so all right well I'll as long as you studying. don't want to say you don't want to accept to leave islam today maybe we, we hope I'm, tomorrow I, i'm a student of knowledge uh, I, my friend i don't think so I, because a student of knowledge he don't and i'm an ahl al -ilm, no my brother. friend maybe you are not because you keep re re refusing evidence in your books so how you are a student of knowledge and I you refuse will, to will, say you refuse to say you no, are not a muslim no, now i'm 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 giving consideration <laughs> yeah so but, when but you I reject give, the Quran. when i give the consideration it means uh, i will consider it you so but you rejected it. but you rejected the quran you are saying now the quran has holes in narrative like yasser Qadi. you are learning from him so now he said it because they're the oh. ones who because Okay, but this is mean you my are my friend. But, how, but how you are a Muslim? How why you insist to call yourself a Muslim? YouTube channel, ولا تفرجت على حدا ولا ولا هذا. Just yeah, yeah. Speaking Arabic, you know, yeah, let it go, let it go in Arabic. Yeah, you are angry. He's angry. He's so angry. <laughs> so he started like. <laughs> oh boy. As you see, this is what happened at the end of the day, you know, uh, the one who speak Arabic or don't speak Arabic is the same unhappy ending for them. Islam is a stupid, Quran is a stupid, Hadith is a stupid, Prophet is a stupid, Allah is a stupid. And then he starts shouting, you know, like, uh, you know, Quran, uh, uh, yeah, you know, he said that, it's not my fault, Yasser Qadi, he said that. You know, I saw him saying that. So, okay, so I, okay, I'm not saying you no know, problem. He said that, but he's sharing some of the truth. 
And it's very funny that those people are very confused. They call you once saying they left Islam. They call you a year or two years after he is he's still saying he's a Muslim now. Why? Because he's struggling. Islam will never give you comfort unless you close your eyes and you go blind. Only if you go blind, then you will be fine. Don't look, don't read, don't question. Chapter 5, verse 101, ask no questions. Is my native Arab language is Arabic? Yes. <clears throat> anyway, guys, we are here for six hours and I'm losing my voice badly. <clears throat> so tomorrow we will come back live on air and we will try to call this Abdul who he claimed nobody can debate him and we will see. And we know what will happen. He will never call me Skype and he will never let me call him. We know. They are just, you know, uh, uh, like a big balloon, big drum, boom, 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 boom. You know, every Muslim who want to show that he is the one who can debate everybody. No, Christians are running away from me. The second you, you know, you really, a real challenge come to them, they are in the bye-bye. All right? So tomorrow we will be live on air. It's going to be, let us look at the time. Hold on, give me a second. Uh, it's going to be at... Uh, 12 30 p.m. New York time. Remember that, please. 12 30 p.m. New York time. And uh, after we finish this one, you will have, you can click at my page, you will see the coming broadcast uh, link. All right. So I want to say thank you guys for being here. I apologize. I can't stay more. My voice is, I mean, speaking for six, seven hours is not easy, you know. Uh, but the Lord, He gave us power to do things. Otherwise, your voice would be dead long time ago. Uh, I'm grateful for the Lord, for everything, you know. Uh, we are grateful that the Lord, He sent us, uh, uh, you know, those Muslims to call us so they can see the truth, and the truth will set them free. And as you see, every time a Muslim he call, he is in trouble because he cannot find any answer in his cult. Islam is not even a religion. Islam is just a collection of cults merging together. Have nothing to, with, to do with God. Have nothing to do with the word of God. And Muhammad, he used some names just to fool you, to make you believe he is a prophet. So he said, okay, you believe in Jesus? Okay, Jesus is a prophet. But this is the same guy who made a fiction man. His name is Al-Khudr, which is coming from the story of Gilgamesh. To be a messenger of God who was alive in the time of uh, he drank from the fountain of youth. He is the same person who come with the person. He is Alexander the Great who was bisexual and he made him a prophet of God. He is the same person who come with the story of the flying carpet, which is a legion of the Jews, the seven sleepers. So this is this is a guy who collect legions and he made them holy books, holy phrases of God, holy stories of God. How that can be God? You tell me. Tomorrow we will be here live, twelve thirty p.m. New York time. So please join us, be with us, and until then, Christ is Lord. Islam is a fraud, and we prove it every day. Feel free to download my video and share the links. And I will be happy to see how excited you are about what happened today and every day, not by making comment in the chat. What about you make some comment in the comment section? People are really lazy. Many, they are just coming for entertainment. Ha, 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 ha. But in reality, they don't really care. We are not here for fun. We are here to save life, change life. If you are here for fun, my friend, do me a favor. Don't show up again. You are not even welcome. The video I made previously, last yesterday, or the day before. How many? Let me look. Nobody is watching. Nobody is sharing. People don't care. People don't care. Why? 
Why people don't care? What is missing? It doesn't make sense. Let me see how many uh, I will go to my channel. Okay. The video yesterday we have 16,000. Why? I mean, I have 100, 103,000 subscribers and the view is 16,000. And we have a very funny time debate. Muslims, they are in trouble. They don't know how to say. Yet the Christians, they don't take advantage of an everyday victory we do. If I'm a Muslim, let us be honest. My videos will have millions of viewers. Yes, I know you will you will say YouTube support Muslims, but obviously Christians don't support Christians. Christians, they are coming here just to watch and have fun and laugh at Muhammad. The true Christians, my friend, is not those who come just to laugh, is those who do the work. So I speak to the true Christians. Let us work together. For the Lord, he said, from their fruits you shall know them. And those who have no fruits, they are no Christians. The Bible says, faith without fruits is dead faith. So many, they claim to be Christian. Many, they wear crosses in their neck. Many, they have a Christian names. But in reality, they are the same as the Mohammedans. Zero. And they will go where they belong. Thank you. God bless you. And see you tomorrow at 12.30 p.m. New York time. Be with us. Take care.